How to know if a baby is yours. 6 ways to determine paternity. There are several ways an alleged father can determine whether a child is his biological offspring or not. Some of the ideas shared are cultural beliefs that have proven to be very true when science becomes involved. Here are the six most common ways. 1. Eye color inheritance. It is important to understand that eye color inheritance in science is called the polygenic inheritance pattern. What this basically means is, that eye color is determined by more than one gene. The eye colors range from light blue to black. When it comes to determining paternity using eye color, this method can be used as a useful tool in some respects. For example, there are recessive and dominant genes. Scientists state that recessive genes cannot create a dominant gene but, dominant genes can create recessive genes. Example. If an alleged father and mother both have blue eyes and the baby is born with dark brown eyes, the odds are, the child may not be the alleged father's child. Example. If both parents have brown eyes and the child is born with green eyes, this does not mean the alleged father is not the biological father. As I stated earlier dominant genes can create another dominant gene or a recessive gene. 2. Blood typing. Blood typing is another way some people attempt to determine paternity. Just like eye color, blood has the same principles. For example, the dominant blood types are A, B, and AB. The recessive blood type is O now, the dominant blood types can create themselves but not another dominant blood type. Example. If both parents are A blood types, they will not be able to produce a B dominant blood type. This also works in reverse. Example. If both parents have our B blood types they could create B blood type child or no blood type child. Please keep in mind that O is recessive therefore O blood types can only create themselves. So, if an alleged father wanted to use this method to determine paternity he only be able to exclude himself as the biological father. For example, if the father is an A blood type and the mother is a no blood type and the child is born with B blood, there is no way the alleged father could be the biological father of the child. Now, if the mother slept with two men that have the same blood type there is no way you can use blood typing alone to determine paternity. 3. Paternity Testing Perform a DNA paternity test is by far the most effective and accurate method of determining a biological relationship between an alleged father and child. This method is also the simplest method. All you have to do is contact a reputable company like IDTO DNA Testing Services and they can assist you with easy appointment setups. If you are on the fence about this method and you have questions about your specific situation, you may want to read the new ebook by DNA testing specialist Garth Harvey are you? Or, are you not the father? The complete question and answer guide to the paternity testing process and relationships. This book addresses the most pressing questions regarding paternity and DNA testing. Here are some cultural beliefs that people used to at least question paternity. 4. The color of the newborn's skin tone. Although, this method is often used I suggest allowing the child to mature for a year or two to see if the baby's hue changes. 5. Analyzing the child's facial features and eating habits. 6. Analyzing how the child walks. These are just some of the most popular beliefs people have when trying to assess paternity without a DNA test. If you found the information in this video helpful click the link in the description to visit our website to learn more about the paternity testing process and other paternity related issues. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon button to be the first notified of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.